Bro, Caleb, it's been good training with you. It's been awesome, man. I'd say you were one of the most teachable guys in our in our crew. And you were so teachable, in fact, that I was like, is he new to this? Like, what's his skill level going to be? But then you pulled out your firearm and all that stuff, and you're handling your business. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this dude's good, man. This dude's good. <laughs> he's teachable, and he's competent. So, right. yeah, man, I wanted to pay you that compliment. I was very impressed with Thank like you. your performance, but also your heart and your attitude. Huge, yeah. huge stuff. Thank you. Uh, what did you think about the training? I loved it. It was definitely, I personally believe that it was more than I paid for. Heck yeah. Because, you know, growing up with a Marine father, he's taught me some things here and there, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying. aside from that, yeah. um, apply, this will definitely apply to my daily life every single day, the way I drive, yep. the way I think about situations, medical situations. I'll definitely be ready for those type of situations, I truly believe, especially with the weapons. Yeah. Definitely feel much more comfortable and confident with that walking with a sense of pride now because of that so yeah bro that's just the way i feel now i'm just like dang hey, man yeah. a lot more confident with that no you did the deed you did it under pressure you did it under stress and that's like that's when you know really that you can do something right, right. <laughs> you know because it's like we can do it like when everything's good yeah. then when we turn up the pressure and honestly like we throw so much at you guys so if you guys are still be able to execute under those circumstances that's really where we see that like okay as instructors we did a pretty decent job right you know? right and like i said we have students that leave this course and they have to use this stuff yeah. and then they're like wow man that was valuable because like like as they can walk through life knowing they have a level of confidence yeah in this stuff dude so um what about the relationships you know oh man it was like as soon as i got here i didn't know anybody but I got to know everybody, especially in the house, the yeah, Airbnb we were at. Yeah. But it feels like, I don't know how they feel, but the way I feel now, it feels like, dang, I feel like I'm leaving a whole part of me behind now is when I come back, it'll feel good, but now I'm leaving them. Yeah. It's like a, I don't want to say sad, but it's just that weird feeling. I'm like, damn, I'll miss this place. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's, no. how, that's how I feel. hundred percent. No, I hear that all the time. And, and honestly, like, I always feel that as well. You know, it's like, Man, like we get done with training, I'm like proud of these dudes, you yeah. know, and I'm just like, okay, you know, time for a new chapter, you right, know what I mean? Right. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't know, it's like an eight day, you unplug, and it's like a tactical vacation. And yeah. then you, but you're struggling with these dudes, and you form these relationships you get to have for the rest of your life. Yeah, for sure. You know, and that you get to do your career with, you know, like, you'll right, talk to these right. guys for a long time. Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. So, heck yeah, what about the instructors? How did you feel about the instructors? They were good. Yeah. You know, I didn't I didn't shoot a lot when I uh I started I was shooting for a year and a half, but I didn't have no one to teach me. Yeah. So I'd go to YouTube, I'd pick up things here and there, but it was yep. just too much to, too much to intake. Yeah. And I was like, dang, like, I'm trying all these things, none of it's really working. Yeah. I come here within a day's time. Just my shots are You were on more. point by the time I showed up, I was like, Oh, this dude's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, before that it was yeah. All over, Heck but then yeah. uh, Troy came over. He's like, "You want to have a firm stance?" Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, I tried that." He's like, "And then you want to cup your thumbs." Over. I was like, yeah. Right. And I did that. He's like, "And then you want to don't lock your shoulders. Yeah. Don't pull too hard." He's like, "Just lay and pull slow." So yeah. I did. It was right in the middle. Yep. And I was like, "Wow." And I think one of the cool thing is, things is too, like, uh, what's your background? My background, civilian, uh, military. Civilian. My dad's yeah. military, but I'm a civilian. Yeah. So, yeah. so no, that's awesome. There's a lot of guys at the top of the industry that are straight civilians. I love yeah. civilians because they have zero ego about this stuff, right? Like yeah. sometimes guys like me, military guys, can be harder to harder to teach because they're all like, I already been to war, and da 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 da. Right. You know, it's like the civilians are just gonna soak up most of the time, soak up what we're we're talking about, mm -hmm. and then they take it seriously. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I love hearing that, uh, but the cool thing is you're going to go out into the industry now and you have current certs. Yeah. So a lot of guys don't have that because they're just riding on former glory, you know, mm. like you're going to have your TCC, first aid, AED, uh, driving at one of the top schools, but like the highest level of driving available to the civilian public. Dang. So not just, not just vehicle dynamics, it's what most schools do, parking lot cones, paintball, yeah. cool. But now you're also gonna have contact driving, which is a whole nother level that only agencies really get, other yeah. than unless you train with us. Right. So right. <clears throat> when guys like me are looking at your resume, we're gonna be like, dude, this dude's current on all these skills right, right. now, not like back when he was in the military. Yeah. And that's valuable, man. Wow. You know, it makes it easy to sell security, man. It makes right. it easy to be like, this dude just went through this. Like, let's get yeah. him on a team. Right, right. So you're on the right path, bro. You made the right investment and 
I mean, you saw the call last night. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we get people in this game, you know? And it's going quick. He's like, yeah. so I forgot his name, but he yeah. was like, two months. Then I had work. I was like, hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was like two impressive. months, three months, four months. But these guys, I mean, one's work was working with a professional football team. The other right. one's working with another professional sports uh, organization, like mm -hmm. working A-list. The other guys are traveling the world, you know? And it's yeah. like, you'd think it'd be harder to get in this game, but like, I train good people, and I know how to get dudes in this game, man. Right, so I right. have what it takes. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I've seen it. Yeah, 100%. You. you know, I know the industry, and I know the guys that do. So, dude, it's been an honor. Thank you, Thank you man. I appreciate Thank you, yeah, man. man. Any thoughts for anyone on the fence thinking about, you know, oh, is the money worth it, or thinking about coming out here and training, what would you say to them? I would say 100% worth it, because I had people that I thought I could be like, hey, look at this. This is so cool. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's fake. No, no way, no way. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, no. I was like, this dude, no. Some, some, the energy. Yes. Bible believer. I'm just yeah. like, man, no. Nah, something feels different. I came here. I lived it. And I'm like, yeah, this is. I personally think it's a lot more than I invested. Yeah. It's a perfect investment because now I'm ready on the road. Yep. Drive way different too. Yep. So, and I just, I just walk in with a different confidence. Yep. Hundred percent, dude. You've done things people haven't done. Yeah. And dude, at the end of the day, when you're, when you, I mean, on that call last night, it was like four dudes were like, three, at least three guys were like, yeah, man, I was working in this short amount of time. Yeah. Those dudes are making six figures now, doing the job that they always wanted to do. Those dudes came to me at the beginning like where you're at like before you know and they're like you think i can do this like do you think like yeah. mo straight civilian he's working full-time really right now yep what you know and he's like like they're like you think i can do this i just really hope this works and i'm like i know this is gonna work bro this is what we do this is like this is you're you're, you're asking me if i if, if if you're gonna fit into my world you know so i know that yeah. i know you know so i'm right, like right and and so my most beautiful moment dude is when a dude comes through the course they do everything that we tell them to do, and they're like, bro, I'm on a detail. And I'm just like saying, boom, oh, man, oh, man. I'm like, this is what we do. Right. I got my first gig. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and, you know, and it's like, I, getting you in the game's easy. Right. It's freaking getting you to a, a good team, a good client that you're like stoked about. That's right. the more difficult part. Right. How can you move around the industry and be successful? Be good enough at moving around the industry until you find the perfect fit, you know? Whether that's chasing the pager, working for six, seven companies and building out your schedule three months, or whether it's like, I just wanna work on one client that I just love being with, you know? Yeah, one team sure. I love being with, you know? Right, so right. That's the real, that's the Brotherhood is just the connections, yeah. man. Yeah, I, I personally love that because I worked in the car sales for a while. Yeah. And learning just the customer skills. Yep. And going over to be a server, just, mm -hmm. it's just the soft skills for me that I personally love, yep. love talking to people, mm -hmm. love getting to know people, love understanding body language, just the, yeah. just the little things. Yeah. But. It's just the connections that person. Yep. Especially with the people with, with, that I work with. Yeah. That's like really important to me. You'll use all that in this game and exactly. be a part of the brotherhood. Right, Thank right. You, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Caleb, it's an honor, oh, man. man. Thank you, Byron. I appreciate it. Yeah, we just so warming much. up. It's just the beginning, man. We don't just train you and cut you loose, man. So oh, we're going to sure. do our careers together. I'm excited, bro. Thank, Thank you, you so bro. much, Byron. Hey, it's Thank an honor. You. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Boom. If you want to get into the executive protection industry, or take your career to the next level, go to epspecialist.com to get in the game. Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade. See you at epspecialist.com. Let's train together.